On behalf of the senior class, I would like to welcome you to the 2010 Model Laboratory High School Commencement. I now have the pleasure of introducing our platform guest for this evening. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. To my far right is Dr. Sherwood Thompson, Assistant Dean of the College of Education. Next, Dr. Jana Weiss, Provost of Eastern Kentucky University. Followed by Dr. Charles D. Whitlock, the President of Eastern Kentucky University. Also to my right is Mr. Jason Monser, our guest speaker for the evening, and Mr. James Dandick, Director at the Model Laboratory School. To my left is Mr. Mark Burnett, Assistant Director of Model. Also to my left are three very special people, our senior class sponsors, Mr. Rodney Rodas, Ms. Charlene Park, and Ms. Susan Newman. Please join me in greeting our guests. senior class of 2010. That's a little bit hard, because I mean, what do you say to a class who said it all? What do you say to a class who's done it all? What do you say to a class who's left behind no regrets and an unforgettable legacy? What can you say to a class whose principal openly admits that they've won? A class who has the school credentials to cause mass havoc at the mere thought of a senior prank? Or the first, last, and only class in history to throw a Jurassic prom? The fact is, there might be nothing left to say, guys. I think we've said a whole, whole, whole lot in our time here, but I want to try to find the right way to say everything. And not just because I wrote this last night in panic, but because I found I had a whole lot I wanted to say. So here I go. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt said, a man who has never gone to school may steal from a freight car, but a man who has a university education may steal the entire railroad. If any railroads go missing, they'll come to us first, because we are a class with a reputation. So that's okay. That's not a bad thing at all. Because we're so much more than sports. We're so much more than the many names and the many objects we've been called and compared to. We're incredible. We're unstoppable. We're almost indescribable. We're the class of 2010. We are the class that some people won't be sorry to see leave because they know that we are going to such great places. We are the class that has said it all with every word, action, detention, and aspect of our years together. We've made an impact and made sure that this school will never forget us. Now, I wanted to talk about a time and journey together. A journey that's put us all here. One that started in the auditorium for the first time we saw Mr. Danny in tights. <laughs> and now we've grown up, at least some of us. And we've learned. Believe it or not, we have learned. We've learned a lot. We've learned about mall cops. We've learned about indoctrination. We've learned about the effects of chocolate on a dog. <laughs> we've learned to hold tight, to blow light, just right. And we've learned that mighty morphin power rangers can cause mighty big scenes. We've taught predators here. We've built haunted houses here. We've succeeded here. We've failed here. We've talked on this best couches and we've loitered way too much in the hallways. We've grown up here, guys. This is four years that we've spent in these buildings, living and growing into the amazing people that we are today. And thinking back on it all, it's been perfect. It's been an unforgettable four years and the best of my life with some of the best people in my life. And we're going to miss it. We know we are. What am I going to do without my dog pack? What are we going to do without parties in the USA, without Rob's classes, without the grilled food, without all these things we've come to love so much? We're going to miss this place, oh, let's face it. But it's not the hallways we're going to miss, it's not the classrooms, it's the people here, it's the teachers. Teachers so close you can text them when you have a question, or if you just want to hang out. Teachers who surely are not simpletons, and faculty who allow us to go out to eat, even though they pretended like they didn't want us to. We can do it, guys. We're ready. We might not want to leave model, even though senior writers did kick in, and they kicked in strong. But we've made it. We've made it here through our own personal battles, through our tough times. Here we are. We've survived massive workloads in Rob's class, senior projects, a junior prom that only some of us wanted to kill each other, the Blair Jonas attack. We've made it all. Even through great sports seasons, and sports seasons were not getting mercy ruled. It was cause for celebration. There were earthquake battles. We've been shaped. We've become the people we are today, and we've become closer as a class. We've become a model family. And ladies and gentlemen, even though I didn't know exactly what I wanted to say up here, I knew that there was one thing that, that everyone knows, that every parent, every family member, every single person in this audience knows. And that is that these people sitting in front of you are without a doubt the most amazing people on earth. These are the people that are going to change the world someday, so you should be nice to them now. <laughs> these truly are the most intelligent, loyal, kind, caring, hardworking people I have ever met. 
They're the best friends anyone could have. They're the most incredible people anyone could be lucky enough to call their friends. And I have that honor. And I know for a fact that I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for each and every single one of you. And not just because you voted for me. I know that I wouldn't have been able to achieve the amazing things that I have been without you guys. I never ever pictured myself as a varsity soccer player. Um, I played not well, or a governor scholar, or a class president for three years. And even though that was a long joke, and uh, this is what you get, um, I don't know. I just could have never ever seen myself up here. And thanks to each and every single one of you, I am. Because you guys taught me. You laughed with and at me. You encouraged me. You cared about me. And without that, and without each and every single one of you guys, I would not be the person I am today. So I want to say thank you to every one of you. And we do owe our faculty a big vote of thanks, because they put up with more in four years than anyone should have to in a lifetime. And for that, we truly do thank them and appreciate them. And it's so hard for me to think of exactly what I want to say. I know that, that I'm supposed to leave you guys with a pretentious quote from some boring old guy that someone decided to get deep and put on their Facebook status, but I'm not going to do that. That's, that's not me. So instead, I'm going to leave you with a quote from me, as egotistical as that is. I'm going to say, let's go out and let's have an amazing time. Let's go out and let's do amazing things. Let's go out and let's live for every single moment, every single second, every single experience that we have. Let's live like we've lived these past four years, with no regrets, with leaving nothing behind, never looking back and saying, God, I wish I had that opportunity. I wish I had taken that chance. Let's always take that chance. Let's always do it like we've done it here. There are some things that will change, sure. There are some things that will always, always, always change in our lives, but there are some things that will never, ever change. Being a class, being a part of the class of 2010 is one thing that will never change. Being a part of this incredible class that has done incredible things, the things we have made here, the things we have done here will never be forgotten for the rest of our lives. They will compare our class with every other class. They will talk about us. They will never, ever forget us. So now it's time to go out into the world and make sure that the world doesn't forget us because we know that model won't and that model can't. So there's only one thing left to say. There's only one more word, and then I'll get off the stage. Um, it's something I'd like to do, something that I think really symbolizes the impact our class has had on this school, and the impact our class will have on this planet. How we'll make not just tremors of our own, but earthquakes wherever we go, and we will always shake the ground that we walk on. With every earthquake song, we've let this school hear us out for four years, and we will now let the world hear us. So I'd like to request us all to create the largest earthquake that model and that Richmond have ever heard. Will you guys do that with me? Yeah! All right. For parents who don't know how to do this, it's really, really easy. All you do is, regardless of what shoe you're wearing, stomp your feet on the ground. Make some noise. It's great for waking up after one graduation speech. I promise. All you have to do is, when I say earthquake, just do it. Follow the senior class. They know exactly what to do. All right, guys. Here's what it's going to go. I think it's appropriate to send this off on the count of 10. So I'm going to come up here and hope you guys can hear me, okay? I'm going to count us off. 